What's up guys, it's Markin. In today's hero guide, we'll be covering Gadget. And Gadget is one of my favorite heroes in Paragon so far, mainly due to her versatility. Now, let's get into it. Gadget is a ranged caster that controls bots to do damage for her. Her passive is called Haywire. Gadget deals an additional 5% damage to all minions. Now, this passive is great for wave clear and becomes incredibly useful mid and late game when you're trying to push objectives. Gadget's right click ability is called Search and Destroy. She fires a bot that moves slowly in a straight line, granting you vision the entire time. Now, once Search and Destroy reaches its target, the bot will stop and begin damaging and slowing all targets beneath it. If you reactivate Search and Destroy while it's still traveling, the bot will stop where it currently is and begin outputting damage. Also, the bot will stop and begin slowing and outputting damage if it collides with an enemy hero. This is a fantastic ability to farm with and it allows you to push lanes very quickly. To use Search and Destroy powerfully in a teamfight, always target the enemy damage dealers. This will slow them down and allow your team to close on them for the kill. Gadget's Q is called Sticky Mine. She will fire a Sticky Mine at the target. After a short time, the mine will stick to anyone, allied or enemy, close by. A couple seconds after attacking, the mine explodes, dealing damage in a circle around it. This too is a great skill to farm with. Combine Sticky Mine with Search and Destroy, and you can clear minion waves and heroes in no time. In a team fight, you can either target the enemy's backline and damage dealers, or target your tank with the Sticky Bomb. This will allow your tank to bring the bomb to the enemy backline and just explode on the damage dealers. Gadget's E is called Speed Bots. She deploys a gate in a line at the target. Allies that pass through the gate receive a huge, huge burst of speed. Also, any enemies that pass through the speed bots will take damage. This is a fantastic escape tool. If you or your team is stuck in a bad situation, just throw down the speed bots and easily escape danger. This can also be used to chase down opposing heroes. You gain 150 speed once you pass through the gate, so either option you take is great. Gadget's R, or her ultimate ability, is called Tesla Dome. This ability is awesome! She places her Tesla Dome over a target location. Now as the dome activates, everything inside of it takes massive amounts of damage over a few seconds. This is one of my favorite abilities in Paragon. The damage that comes out of Tesla Dome is insane. In teamfights, make sure you position the dome around the entire enemy team and just watch them melt. If it is placed correctly, the enemy team will have to actually split up to escape the dome, allowing your team to pick them off one by one. For cards, you generally want to purchase energy damage and mana cards. I usually throw in cooldown reduction and health as well. This allows you to throw out more bots throughout the game and stay in fights longer to help your team take down the enemy core. As I said, Gadget is one of my favorite heroes in Paragon and I hope you can see why. She can deal a tremendous amount of damage while also supplying CC and speed boost to her team. Your job as Gadget is to push lanes quickly and land great game changing ultimates to destroy or separate the enemy team. I hope you enjoyed this hero guide on Gadget. I'll be making a guide for every hero in Paragon. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a vid. Let me know in the comments what champion you would like me to make the next guide on. Thanks for watching guys, and stay active.